Welcome once again to our series on Microsoft Office training. We are on Unit 4, Formatting Characters and Paragraphs. In this section, you will learn to 1. Use character formatting to enhance text. Use basic paragraph formatting to enhance a document appearance. Use tab in a document. Let's go. When you click on it, it gives you the type of fonts and here I give you the size for your font okay this area when you click on it you can change you have many other options to change it will show you the font type the style whether regular italic bold or bold italy then the size okay All right size then it gives you this menu then you can strike through see it you can double strike through you can superscript you can subscript you can shadow, you can outline, you can embrace, you can engrave, small cap, all cap, and so on. Okay. So, you can also format your paragraph. How? You look for paragraph pin, then you will see something like this where you have the left, the center, the right, and the justify margin paragraph. So, paragraph comma command can be found on the home tab. Then you go to paragraph group. Okay, when you click. The paragraph show button. Paragraph group to be refilled will show. The paragraph show button is this one. It will let you know where is paragraph and every other area that you have put paragraph will be shown. Okay. So you can choose your paragraph to be left by clicking this. You select the paragraph and you choose this button or right select the paragraph and choose right button or you can align it to the center by choosing this or justify by choosing justify button okay when you choose control l will give you left align control r we give you right align. Control J is to justify. The alignment to center is Control E. So it shows something like this. Okay. So invariably, because you are changing the alignment of your paragraph. Okay. So also indentation you can indent your paragraph to as long as you want you can increase the indentation or you increase or decrease the indent indentation how do you decrease or increase your indentation you look for the icon is just above is here graph you can change your spacing to change the light spacing select the paragraph to apply the light spacing then select the line spacing using the drop down arrow next to line spacing button okay i've chosen the paragraph then this is the light spacing icon the drop down button i click i can change it to 2 1.5 1.15 depending on which one 
I want. Okay. So, what about bullet and numbering? The same thing applicable to apply bullet or numbering. You select the paragraph to be bulleted or numbered. Click the. This is the bullet. Arrow. Okay. I can select, then come here and choose the one that I want. This is my bullet. I can change it to anyone. It will be shown there. Also, I can use word symbol or picture as bullet, as we have seen. To apply bullet or numbering, I've done that. But to apply word symbol or picture, you will see at the bottom of that pane, divine new bullet. So what do I do? I've, choose, I've selected the paragraph. I come here. I click on the arrow. Then I look for divine new bullet. Then I click it. The new bullet that I want, you have to choose. Is it a symbol or a picture or font? If it is a symbol, click symbol. Then you look for the symbol you want to choose. Let's say I want to choose window pictures. I choose it and I click OK. And I click OK. So the symbol turns to the window symbol. On the other hand, if I want picture, I follow the same procedure. Click on this button, divine new bullet. But instead of choosing symbol, I choose pictures. Then I look for pictures. Where is it from the file? Or I want to search online or from OneDrive. Okay, let me search from my laptop. Okay. I can choose. I have a picture here. I choose this picture and I insert it. Okay. Then I click OK. So my bullet picture now is taken and it's already working here. Okay. So that is exactly to apply bullet or numbering for the picture. The same procedure. Click on the symbol and you follow. As I've shown you, you can use Microsoft symbol, you can use any other symbol. Each font has symbol and there is hundreds of them. Click on the picture if you want to use a picture as a bullet, then click OK. Picture on the PC can be used or online, as I've shown you. The numbering library can be used if you wish to not to use the default numbering, okay? What do you do? If you don't want any numbering, you choose none. The number can be used or the default number. What are you going to do? The same format, the same way, the same procedure that you use, okay? So you come to your word and you look for numbering. You choose the numbering. Is it Roman numeral, Roman figure, alphabet, or whichever? Okay. Other hand, you can even define new number format that you want to use for your paragraph or numbering. Okay. So let's move on. Tap. Viewing the ruler tab. Ensure that the ruler is visible near the top. To do taps to view your ruler is very simple. Ensure that the ruler is visible near the top of the screen. Okay? You just check box, box in show up where. How do you get that? Go to your file view. When you click on view, you will see where the ruler is, check it to show it, 
you can even check ruler then your ruler will be visible on your pin then you can move to the next thing selecting a tab type how do you select a type a tab type to select a tab type click on the tab button to the left of the ruler to circle throughout different type tab types okay text starts at the tab position and flows to the right as you type to set a tab select the tab type at the left of the ruler click on the ruler at the point where the tab is to be positioned okay so it can be left tab right tab or center tab okay so even to view your tab the best thing is to show your paragraph go to home tab paragraph group then click on show or hide button tab will show a small arrow on it okay so working as tab dialog there you can define your tab okay and you choose the leader then you click ok okay so for example go to home and this is your paragraph if you click this one it will show oh tab it will show each area that you have paragraph here the end of each paragraph will be shown with this with uh, a picture like this this is the picture of the paragraph okay so and each time you tap assuming you are writing you are typing you tap it will show the arrow that you are tapping okay so to define your tab come to paragraph group and click it shows it define your tab identity then come back to tab click then you can define the length of your tab for example if you choose one tab stop position that is one centimeter the alignment to the left okay leader non dependent then you choose set then you click ok so that each time you tap each time you tap it will be one centimeter you can define it in any form or how long you want the tap to be okay so to change current tab setting or remove the tab you just need to double click on the tab maker on the ruler then select the tab stop to be halted or remove from the list of the tab stop now the alignment for the selected tab can be changed or the tab can be cleared so you can now look for after you have defined it here your tab to be one and you set it and you click ok then you tap this left when you double click on this it bring you back to this place then you can clear this particular one or if you have more than one you can clear all then you click ok let's clear all and click ok then there's no more tap on the on our one document that we will format okay all right thank you so much for listening next lesson is unit 5 creating and managing tables don't forget to check for update at istudylife.com subscribe and like our channel i will see you in the next video thank you